Hello and welcome to our first in a series of three presentations on construction and demolition waste management. Today's presentation is construction and demolition waste and the environment. Construction and demolition waste. The construction and demolition industry is one of the largest waste producers in Ireland. Construction and demolition waste consists of unwanted material produced directly or indirectly by the construction and demolition industry. This includes building materials such as insulation, nails, electrical wiring and rebar, as well as waste originating from site preparation such as dredging materials, tree stumps and rubble. A large amount of building waste is made up of materials such as bricks, concrete and wood, damaged or unused for various reasons during construction. However, construction and demolition waste may also contain lead, asbestos or other hazardous substances. Observational research has shown that waste produced on construction sites can be as high as 10 to 15 percent of the materials that go into a building. Since considerable variability exists between construction sites, there is much opportunity for reducing this waste. Why minimize waste? Landfill space is running out. This isn't some pie-in-the-sky statement. If something is not done soon, it is predicted that Ireland will run out of landfill space within this decade. You've probably noticed, even in your own homes, that the price of waste management is rising rapidly, so reduction of waste will in turn reduce the cost of waste disposal and, as a result, save money. For example, the landfill levy alone stands at 75 euros per ton as of July 2013. Government policy is putting pressure on the construction industry through the enforcement of reduction targets for waste. These targets are non-negotiable and must be met. Waste minimization can enhance your company's reputation by developing good practice and improving performance. This can be used as a marketing tool when tendering for work in the future. Resource depletion Resource depletion coupled with global population growth means that the cost of raw materials, energy and minerals is growing rapidly. Constantly using new materials results in land degradation, deforestation and loss of biodiversity. This is happening at such a rate that nearly two-thirds of the world's ecosystems are in decline. Also, the European Union have stated that unless there is significant progress made in improving resource efficiency, there will be a global shortfall of 40% in water by 2030. Environmental Benefits Reducing waste on site will in turn reduce the following. The tonnage of waste sent to landfill or for treatment. The amount of raw material required the need to manage reuse and recycling of excess materials and the carbon footprint from CO2 emissions associated with extracting, processing, manufacturing and transporting raw materials. Waste legislation. How does it affect you? The EU have introduced tough reduction targets to be met by the construction industry. For example, 70% of construction and demolition waste should be recycled or reused by 2020. If these targets are not met, Ireland will face hefty fines. How do the EU plan on implementing waste reduction targets? The EU have adopted the use of the waste hierarchy. The most important step is to first try to avoid creating waste at all. After this, try to reduce the quantity of waste you produce. Then, reuse as much as you can. Recycle what you cannot reuse. And finally, dispose only as a last resort. So when dealing with waste on site, 
Think of the waste hierarchy first. Avoid, reduce, reuse, recycle, dispose. Can you try to implement any of the more preferable options before you dispose of site waste? The true cost of waste does not just include the cost of the skip hire. The following are also included. The original cost of the materials being wasted, plus the cost of the labor to fill the skip, plus the time it takes to manage the skip, plus landfill tax, plus skip hire, plus that. Financial composition of an average skip. On an average skip, fat accounts for 20% of the cost. Labor accounts for 3% of the cost. Skip hire accounts for 12% of the cost. And the value of the wasted materials accounts for an overwhelming 65% of the cost. Have a think. The following are the most common causes of waste on site. Can you do anything to reduce these today? Offcuts of materials, such as tiles and plasterboard. Damage to materials, for example, through inappropriate handling or inadequate storage. Inaccurate or surplus ordering of materials. Rework due to errors, poor workmanship, or defective site processes. Inefficient use of materials, for example, use of temporary materials, such as hoardings. Finally, did you know, in order to make one bag of cement, more than ten bags of industrial waste have been generated? Also, did you know that there is more copper in landfill sites around the world than in the Earth's core? Thank you for your time and attention. This concludes today's presentation on construction and demolition waste and the environment. We look forward to speaking with you again at tomorrow's presentation on avoiding and reducing construction and demolition waste.